I never thought I'd burn a cake and still serve it for a party, but these creamy cupcake-sized versions of the world-famous Basque cheesecake from Spain are just the way to do it. The ingredients for today's recipe couldn't be simpler. It begins naturally with cream cheese, and I am so lucky that I live in Spain because I can get my hands on this brand, San Milan. It's known to be one of the secret ingredients of the restaurant La Viña that made this cheesecake world famous. But in the United States, an equally good option is Philadelphia cream cheese, and I know you can find that in almost any grocery store. We're going to begin with 450 grams, a little less than two cups of cream cheese. To that, we're going to add 90 milliliters or one third of a cup of heavy cream, 180 grams, or a little less than one cup of sugar, a little bit of vanilla extract, teaspoon and a half of salt, and four eggs. We're gonna do a few things while the oven is preheating to 475 degrees. I know that sounds hot, but that burnt flavor on the top of the cheesecake is exactly what we're after. So to get ready, Normally, what you do with this cheesecake is you put it in a 12-inch springform pan. And that's traditionally the kind of recipes you'll see online. But what I've experimented with, and I love it, is using these small little individual serving cups to create little mini cheesecakes. What you need to do is spray the inside just a little bit with a little nonstick. Then you want to line each cup with enough paper so that it exceeds the top of the cup, because I guarantee these are gonna puff up. To prepare this really simple batter, either use a stand mixer, a hand mixer, and in my case, what I have is a Thermomix. And you're going to blend all the ingredients together until they're nice and smooth, and then we'll pour it into the pan. I'm beginning by putting four eggs into the mixer, and I'm going to blend this for 20 seconds at speed four. Next ingredient is the 450 grams of cream cheese. And just drop it all in, lid on, and now I'm going to do 30 seconds at speed five. Now we're ready to add 180 grams of sugar. And this we're gonna blend a little bit longer for a minute at speed five. Our final ingredients, 90 milliliters of heavy cream, one and a half teaspoons of salt. I'm using pink sea salt and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna put the lid back on and we're gonna blend this for three minutes just to make sure everything is really well mixed, blended and smooth. It's all done blending. Let's see how nice and smooth it is. Ooh. Wow, it's perfect. So now all we have to do is put it into our prepared cups, pop it into the oven, and then wait for about 12 minutes before we take it out. We are ready to pour the batter into the cups. I'm going to spray them just a little bit with a bit of spray to make sure that nothing sticks. When you fill these, fill them close to the top, but not all the way to the top because these will really puff up as they're baking. These are going into the oven at 475, and I'm gonna keep my eye on them, but at around 14 minutes, they should be done. It's been all of 13 minutes. I pulled them out of the oven because I could tell they're still jiggly in the center, and that's exactly what you want. And you have two choices now. You can cool them in the refrigerator for about five hours and serve them chilled, or, you can wait until they're room temp, go ahead and serve them up, slice into them, and watch that middle kind of ooze out, just like a chocolate lava cake. It's incredible.